Greetings everybody, this is Sliced Lime and I'm back, finally, with another command block contraption. I know many of you have been asking for this and uh, it's time to take some time off from the map making and just make some random funny contraptions. We are in the latest snapshot, 15W42A, released today and it contains a few awesome new enchantments. One of them is the Frostwalker Boots enchant, which makes you, well, freeze over water as you walk on it. It's pretty cool, right? But it's missing this pretty obvious counterpart. The firewalker boots. Let's put them on and let me show you what they do. So, I walk up to the lava, it turns to obsidian. For a while, and then it turns back. Uh, I have a bigger lava pool up here. Let's go over and show you. It works exactly like the frostwalker boots does, in that as long as I walk around, I create this little pool of uh, obsidian. Uh, but then as it starts going away... You can see I can kind of put it back by walking around. Uh, same as with the uh, Frostwalker boots, if I stand around, it doesn't work. It's only for walking. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty cool. It's, it's, uh, all you need is this little lump of commands right here. And uh, this stuff is all debugging. So if you want to have a bit of a... Move over, pick. If you want to have a bit of a look at how this actually works, you can switch this on to always active. And then as I move around, you can see the uh, kind of search points that it says. And then you can see how they get stuck on where we find lava turned into obsidian and then they decay out. So, it's a pretty cool little visualization of this field. It's funny how the command block layouts are so different nowadays. Let's take these off so we don't keep getting lighting updates here. We need my lava for light. What we're doing is pretty much... Detecting if you have the boots on and that you're moving, and then I am summoning some of these new little fancy area effect clouds. Uh, I'm summoning one with an offset of half a block, and then I'm summoning once off of that one, till I get a grid of 8x8, eight eight, uh, one block below my feet. And then I'm actually running a command to kill everything that's outside of a certain radius to get this kind of nice little rounded effect. So if I put them back on, and did I switch that off? Yes, I did. So you can kind of see how this is a round thing rather than a square. So it's not the kind of Minecraft customary square. It's actually doing this in a bit of a circular manner, which is exactly how the Frostwalker enchant works. What I'm doing is I'm setting and removing tags on those area effect cloud entities, and then way over here, uh, so we're going to do a execute and detect for lava. So if we find lava, then we're gonna say, well, we found lava and set a tag for that. And eventually down the line, what ends up happening is if we did find lava, we set a duration on it. Otherwise it decays after one tick. So all of these things that we summon just go away immediately, except if it finds lava, then we let it stay and we set a block of obsidian in its place. And then of course, when it has reached the age of 99, which means it's gonna go away, because the duration is 100, then we set a lava block back and then it's going to decay the next tick. So that's a pretty simple, pretty cool contraption, I think. If you want to try this out, I'm going to put a schematic download and a world download in the video description. Hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please help me out and leave a like on the video. And if you want to take a look at the world or the schematic, if you want to know more about how it's made, or just try it out for yourself. So, my name is Celeste Lame. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.